When it comes to producing topspin, nobody does it better than Nadal. Nadal is famous for having the most RPM on the ball or revolutions per minute. This is the foundation of Nadal's entire game because the topspin allows him to firstly eliminate the lines so that heavy topspin allows the ball to drop before it gets too close to the line. This makes Nadal super consistent, but it also makes the bounce much more aggressive because now the opponent is dealing with that heavy topspin kicking off the court. And that's one of the reasons we've seen Nadal have so much success on the clay courts because the heavy topspin mixed with that red clay equal a deadly bounce. So how exactly does Nadal produce that heavy aggressive topspin? And more importantly, how can you start producing more topspin in your own game? Let's get out on court and break it down. One of the easiest ways to increase the topspin on your forehand is to really focus on making sure that the racket head drops below that point of contact. So if I'm making contact here, I want my racket head below that point of contact completely. So all the racket head is below the ball level. Now, as I make contact, the racket will go from this dropped position into a upwards position. So the tip of the racket goes from pointing slightly down to the ground to then pointing up to the sky after I make contact. So before the point of contact, Nadal's racket head is completely below the ball level. And as he makes contact, he now starts that brushing effect. Now, here's a great clip to see this in action. The bottom of the racket, the tip of the racket is much lower than the ball level prior to contact. Now he starts that brushing effect, he's going low to high with the swing, and now the tip of the racket is pointing towards the sky, which creates that windshield wiper motion. So the tip of the racket below the ball level, and then the tip of the racket above the ball level. And, and this creates that low to high swing path, which will then help me produce more top spin, but also more height. So by having the racket head dropped below that point of contact, I can now really focus on brushing up the ball and the tip of the racket ending up in that position before I then follow through all the way. So it's racket head down, racket head up, racket head finish. So by focusing on that brushing effect as he makes contact, Nadal is able to lift the ball, eliminating the net, and then secondly produce that heavy topspin, which allows the ball to dip before the lines. But it all starts with that brushing. So the racket head below the ball level and then brushing up aggressively through that point of contact. So once again, let's pay close attention to where the racket head is in relation to the ball, prior to contact, during contact, and after contact. So as he gets into the power position, now he gets that racket drop position, notice where the racket head is, much lower than that ball level, and he's focusing on brushing the ball. And this is one of the reasons why he finishes above the head to get that maximum low to high swing. Now once again, pay close attention to the racket head, here in the power position, the racket head is above his actual head level. Then he has that racket drop. Now notice where the ball is in relation to the head. Finally, just before the point of contact, that lag phase, the bottom of the racket is pointing towards the ball, but the total racket head is beneath ball level. Now he's gonna focus on brushing. And once again, we see the tip of the racket pointing towards the sky. And then finally, that lasso uh, finish over the head. And something that this allows Nadal to do is be very aggressive with his racket head speed. He doesn't have to push the ball or guide it. He can be explosive and really rip the back of the ball. But because he's producing that heavy topspin, he maintains that high level of consistency. And once again, let's pay close attention to the racket head. So as he starts his swing, the racket head is much higher than his grip level, creating that leverage. So the actual racket head is about head level or slightly higher. Then he has the racket drop, the racket starts to go below that ball level. And in this phase, we can see that the complete racket head is below the ball level. Now he's able to brush the back of the ball, and then you'll see eventually the tip of the racket lifting up. So the top of the racket now facing the sky. So if you're struggling to produce that top spin, really focus on getting the racket head completely below the ball level and focus on brushing the back of the ball. This will ensure that you produce much more topspin and become a more consistent player. Now, if you've enjoyed this lesson, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, of course, and leave a comment down below. Are there any lessons you'd like to see from us 
in the near future. Signing off, Simon from TTT, all the best and see you soon guys.